next two players is an interesting one just because of what happened last year. Jimmy Butler and Kawhi. Mm. Go ahead, Juice. <laughs> is that a Jimmy Butler jersey? Man, listen. Nah, it's Dwayne Wade, but I'm definitely I'm definitely getting one. For sure. <laughs> listen. They both have the same impact on their team. Like, let's be real. Uh, well, not the same impact. They both have big impacts. But Jimmy has a better impact than Kawhi on his team. Kawhi sat out. You got, you got Paul George. But <laughs> the Clippers are still an all right team. You take Kawhi out. We lost Jimmy, and I don't even remember the last time we won. We had Bam, but Bam was doing his thing. But other than that, Jimmy came back. We won with our record right now since Jimmy been back. Out of the last 14, 15 games, we won 12. No, we won 11. We won 11 of our last 15 when Jimmy came back. And he's been putting up MVP numbers. Now, Kawhi is Kawhi, obviously. He's going to go out. He's he going to get you, like, 25, a couple steals, eight rebounds. Like he going to get you that. But if I'm talking impact on 18, Jimmy Butler, and it's, like, and it's not even close. Right, not, no, not even close. Well, close. But no bias. No bias. It's a bias, y'all. How do you say it's no bias, bias. With jersey on? How Listen, can you say no that? No bias whatsoever. I'm taking Jimmy Butler because of the impact he has. He has a better impact on the Heat than Kawhi does on the Clippers. Like, like Jalen said last year, they blew that, that Kawhi team blew a 3 1 lead. And the Jimmy, the Jimmy Butler team. Listen, listen, listen. Everybody say, oh, because it's the East. We went through the Pacers, no scrub. They weren't no scrubs. Mm-hmm. Then we went through they didn't the They didn't have Oladipo, uh, 100%. 100%. Uh, CJ Warren, Bubble Warren. Then they have Sabonis. They didn't have Sabonis. Actually, they didn't have Sabonis. They didn't have Sabonis. But listen, they were barely everybody the was saying, hey. Y'all gonna lose to TJ Warren. Yeah, Jimmy Butler gonna get it from TJ Warren. Bias. Like, let's be real here. Let's be. You thought Jimmy Butler was gonna get done up by TJ Warren? All right. Um. So we went through them. We went through an MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. They won one game, and then we played a younger Boston Jalen Brown and J and, and Jason Tatum and them. And then we ran into the Lakers, of course. Of course. But that wasn't no sweet run. That wasn't no sweet run. Now, Kawhi and them, I guess, you know, there's no reason you blow a 3-1 lead. You take Kawhi off that team and put Jimmy on that team, the leadership alone from Jimmy is making them probably go to the finals. Probably. Probably. I'm not saying Kawhi can't do that, but Kawhi doesn't have the vote, the voice like Jimmy. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you, know, uh, you know, no bias. <laughs> That's what All I'm right. Saying, Go ahead, Jared. All right, first, before I get started, I want to say, Justin, the way you're talking about Jimmy Butler and the Heat going to the playoffs, I almost thought they won the finals or something. But anyway, let me go, let me go ahead and get back on subject. <laughs> Look, I like Jimmy Butler. I honestly like him as a player. I really do like him, so it's hard for me to say this. But obviously, I got to go with Kawhi. Look, I'll give this. Jimmy Butler does have leadership over Kawhi, and honestly, I think he probably is a better playmaker than him. But the problem I have with Jimmy is he can't shoot the basketball. Like, this season, he's shooting... Let me get to my stat. On 1.8 attempts from three, he's shooting 22% from three. And this isn't a down year or something, because last year he shot 24% from three. He just can't shoot. I think he's made, like, four threes this year. Or five. I don't even know. Like... My problem with him, he can't shoot. I, I know what I'm getting Kawhi. 40% three-point shooter. Can hit a shot from everywhere in the court. Can make his shot at any time. Like, in the Lakers in the finals against the Heat just last year were daring him to shoot. They put a big minute AD on him and said, I will let you shoot it. 
And guess what? He just couldn't make a shot. We can't. They can't do that against Kawhi. So honestly, I just got to go with Kawhi in the segment. I like Jimmy Butler, though. Trust me, I do. But it got to be Kawhi. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. All right. Go ahead, Don. All right. First of all, Justin, you can't say I'm not biased. You have a heat jersey on. You're obviously biased. You, you said, you said, you said, no bias. You're wearing a heat jersey. That's that started the bias there. But yeah. you said, I agree with Justin though, because I think Kawhi's a better player than Jimmy Butler, obviously. But the impact Jimmy Butler had yeah. for the Heat, if you replace him with Kawhi, I don't think he has that same impact because Jimmy Butler is that leader, and he brings that playmaking ability. Like this is the problem with the Clippers because. I said this last year. JJ could vouch for me. They don't have a playmaker or a leader. So basically, to me, they didn't have an identity. Because, like, Kawhi isn't going to – he's not going to speak up. Like, he's not going to say nothing. Like, it's like how I feel about the Warriors. Like, Steph is the best player, but Draymond's the voice. Draymond's the one who, you know what I'm saying, going to tell them. There's, Kawhi doesn't do that for the Clippers. And if he was on the Heat, if you switch roles, he wouldn't do that for the Heat either. Because, because like – there's great players. I'm not saying you can find great players anywhere. He's great. Bam would probably do it. But you need a leader. You need a leader. Like, and Jimmy Butler, like, that's why I think he was perfect for the Heat culture, too. Because they needed someone like him. They needed that leader. And I think what Jimmy Butler is to the Heat is what the Clippers are missing right now. Because Kawhi is the, a great player. But who's the leader? No one can tell me who's the leader on that team. Because I promise it's not Paul George. Yeah. I promise it's not him. Yeah. Okay. I got an interesting question before I say this. You think Jimmy Butler on the Clippers next, I mean, last year beat the, I mean, win the finals? Win the, no. Win the finals. Do you think they beat the Nuggets? Uh, Yeah. I can't say they will. I think they don't blow a 3-1 lead. Like, if if you put, no, if you put Jimmy Butler on that team and they're up 3-1 replacing Kawhi, yeah, they win that series. I can guarantee that one. Jimmy Butler not blowing a 3-1 lead. Yeah, Jimmy Butler not going to go out like that. I promise he's not going out like that. Not like that. You think they, but they still lose the Lakers. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I do. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I think they Just should. because one person has AD and the other doesn't. Just because so, of that. So, like, LeBron isn't a factor? It's just AD? <laughs> Listen, you got two people on the other side that can guard LeBron. I don't Who's think the two? anybody else. Wait, 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 wait. Who's, Who's the, the two? two? Who's the two? All right, maybe not two. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Wait, are you talking about the Clippers team or the Heat? One, uh, one can Justin, what team stay are you in front about? of LeBron. Oh, I'm talking, I'm talking about, the about, about the Clippers. I'm talking about the Clippers if, oh, okay. Kawhi, if, if Jimmy was there for Kawhi. Oh. Paul okay. George... Can be in fr- can can he can be in front of LeBron? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can he guard LeBron? Nah, probably not. So, but Jimmy is definitely giving LeBron a, a a time, a run. He's giving him a run for his money. So, so you telling me LeBron won't average thirty? Is that what you're trying to? No, no, LeBron not average thirty. <laughs> no, no, for sure. So, so look, so Jimmy Butler, he's a very good defender. Let's still barbecue chicken. Now, Paul George. <laughs> now, 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 look, look, look. now, Paul George. I don't have to say Paul, much about him. I, Paul I, George, I that's barbecue him. chicken. That's barbecue. I think anybody can score on Paul George. That's barbecue chicken. But he not putting up no 30 on Jimmy. If Jimmy on him the whole game, I think Braun putting up 20 at most. Are you said like 20? Like 20 what? with a zero? 20-2-0 at most. But didn't LeBron have 40 one of these He's games? He's talking about if Jimmy Butler guarded him for 48 minutes. For 48 minutes. And not, not no switches, no whatever. No switches. So now I'm like, in here, LeBron scored on fast breaks, pushing Tyler. Like Hero. directly. That's how he I think he made So you're like telling me he'd have 20. On. Just 20. 20. His stat line, if Jimmy Butler guarded him for 48 minutes, his stat line would be 20. 20, 10, and 8. Are you serious? You, you're serious about that, though. I'm serious. So, LeBron wouldn't get 25. Like, just 20? 20? No, no. AD putting up 30 a game. Uh, 
So you, you say know, AD he probably could have thirty. He probably could have mantra. Honestly, they probably put they probably put Paul George on AD a little bit. Justin, Not the whole this, game. That's AD, barbecue chicken. Justin, AD <laughs> might need that series. Come on, come on. They might need the series of scoring over the time. And so two minutes are left. He's a very exactly. And but, AD, he's man. not really a – AD, he posts up, but it's not frequently. He's more – he can – he more stays to the perimeter when LeBron's playing with him. Because, you know, LeBron's going to drive the kick out. Drive pick kick, and roll, yeah. pick pop. So AD's not really going to be like a dominant, like Shaq and post up like Embiid and just have their bad to the best the whole game. So that's why I said Paul George could like contest AD's Paul jumpers. George? I mean, can contest it, but narrow. will it affect yeah. it? Yeah, like George is a is a is above average defender in today's new league. Come on, I agree. Well, I do, said, who's, who's, above average who's better? Who's Look, better I told the clutch. Who I do think's agree. better. Who do you think's better? Paul George or Montrezl Harrell? On defense? Yeah. Paul George. Paul George. Paul George. Paul George. Okay, okay then. Sure. That's, that's not. Said, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm saying though. That's y'all saying Montrezl could guard. I'm saying yeah, he can. But I'd rather have Paul George. You know, stick AD a couple times, not the whole game. But a couple times, just in case. Okay. After what? Yeah. Nicole, Montrezl could even guard AD. That player run. Look, oh, AD yeah. might average thirty, like Justin said. Now I think Justin's insane for saying LeBron's only averaging twenty, but AD 20? might legit. 20? He AD might lead the Lakers in scoring because I don't think anyone in the Clippers can stop him. Who are you putting Would on? Would you say twenty? LeBron. I'm sorry. 20 on him? Yeah. Hey, worst 20? case scenario, LeBron getting at least like 25 points per game. At, I'm thinking like at least 28 in the 30s, maybe. Yeah. Justin's insane for what he said. Yeah, he's but. insane. I think LeBron averages 28. I honestly yeah. do. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but for me, I have an answer. I just realized. I, I'm taking Kawhi out of the two. Because, uh, oh, if it was past recent year, Kawhi for sure, because of the Raptors run. He for went sure. to, went for. But Jimmy Butler made it close to me last year because he took he beat Pacers, Bucks, Celtics, two great teams, and then lost the Lakers. So, but for me, Kawhi, you know, he's not a leader, personality type dude. Everybody knows that. But y'all answered the question earlier, like I said. You put Jimmy Butler on the Clippers, they still lose into the Lakers. Agree. Either I agree. way. So, I agree with that. But in my opinion, the Clippers have a better chance of being the Lakers with Kawhi rather than Jimmy Butler, which we saw through the regular season, close series, not close series, but close games through almost all of them. I think Clippers may have booed them out once. Every they blew time us out they played, the, the first game we played. The first game, yeah, the first game. Us out. Mm-hmm. But every other game well, after that was close between the teams. And then, so that's that's a big reason why I'm picking Ka- Ka- Kawhi because you know the Lakers are the favorites. So and you gotta, you gotta beat the you gotta beat the favorites to get the title. And more importantly, you gotta beat LeBron. And I think I think what the Clippers do to LeBron with Kawhi is better than what the Heat could have do with LeBron. I mean. With well, with LeBron, even that had Jimmy Butler on the Heat last year because we saw what happened. Like Jared was saying, he said they put AD on Jimmy Butler, dared him to shoot. You can't do that with Kawhi. She was forty percent from three. Uh-huh. So, if you're building a team okay. today, I I take I take Kawhi. I gotta go with Kawhi. But Jimmy Butler is the better leader. I'll give y'all that. He is the better leader. Okay. Moving on to the last, certainly not least, of Would You Rather. This is an interesting one. Mm-hmm. Two talented point guards, Chris Paul or Steve Nash. Go ahead, Jason. Okay. So so this is what I'll try to do. I'll try to put my, non, put my bias aside because Steve Nash is my favorite point guard of all time. Mm, hold on. Chris Paul. Chris Paul, though, if I'm being non-biased, take my feelings out of it, Chris Paul. i take Chris Paul mm-hmm. over Steve Nash. I think Chris Paul, he gets a lot of flack because people say he's a bad teammate, all that. I think he's one of the best leader leaders in sports. I oh, really do sure. think Chris Paul. For sure. 
And I think their playmaking is really close. I think Chris Paul is a better scorer than Steve Nash. I, I definitely mm-hmm. do. His mid-range jumper is killer. And I remember I remember uh when he was with the Hornets, I remember him giving my Lakers hell when it was when it was him versus he it was him versus Kobe, Pau Gasol, Andrew Bynum, and I was watching him just do a snatch back. He did a he just switched the pick and roll and just, just did a bunch of snatch backs on Pau Gasol and was just killing him from the baby. And I said, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh like I think <laughs> I think Chris Paul would be a high, even higher rated point guard if he won something. It's just he doesn't get nowhere. But but you can say that for both of them though. But I'm taking Chris yeah. Paul. I'm taking Chris Paul. Okay. Go ahead, Jared. Look, like what Jason was saying, they're both great floor general, great playmakers. But honestly, what separates them is everything else, though. Looking on the offensive side of the side of the court, what Jason brought up with what he did to Paul Gasol. Like <laughs> It's, if you see Chris Paul end up on a big man one on one, you might as well just count the points. He's cooking them all day. Like he's a better shot creator than Steve Nash really ever could be. And then you yeah. go to the defensive side of the court, and it's like Steve Nash. He's not bringing you anything on that side of the court. He's yeah, not. Chris Paul. He'll at least get you like around like two steals Chris a game. Paul's solid really defender. Defense. Yeah. Like, he's a really good leader, defender, everything. Like, yeah. No disrespecting Steve Nash, but Chris Paul, he's a true floor general. Most right. Definitely. Yeah, uh, definitely Chris Paul. If we're talking about impact, we talked about earlier, Steve Nash brought a, well, how many wins was it? In, in what are you talking about? Steve oh, Nash in 06. Got, you talking about first MVP like, or second yeah. MVP? First MVP, they got 50, 58 wins. Second 50 MVP, they got wins. over 60. So Steve Nash, like both of their impacts are for sure there. Like he still had a Marty Stoudemire though. Like he, everybody was still solid. Wherever Chris Paul goes, they are automatically good. Like that's the I said it. Uh, I think a couple weeks ago, Chris Paul <laughs> is LeBron of point guard. Like literally, wherever he goes, they're gonna be good. I think they go to the fine. They go to the finals if Chris Paul doesn't get hurt when he was with Houston. You think they beat the like Warriors? Warriors? You think I they beat the Warriors? Warriors in seven? But how you I feel about they, them not having Guadala though? They're not. Who the Oh yeah, the Warriors. That, that hurt too. Both healthy teams. Mm. Oh, oh, that's tough. That's mm. tough. But in that scenario, in that situation, if if definitely if Chris Paul played, they would have won. Mm-hmm. And then we go and look at OKC. I don't think none of us thought Jalen, OKC fan, y'all didn't even think y'all was going to do anything. And y'all took Houston to game seven. I thought y'all could have won that game. And, I was cheering for y'all. And then we got... Through the ball to Adams for three. Phoenix has been bad since I know, since I can remember. Like since they had Nash, probably. <laughs> yeah. They were bad since Nash. Steve Nash is the Phoenix Suns. He is the Phoenix Suns. Literally, he whoa, has to be the logo. Whoa, whoa. So he's not the Phoenix Suns. Whoa. Ooh, he's close. Come on. When do you Charles think Charles Barkley? Charles Barkley. But like you Kevin can say Johnson. Look, you can say. But you can say Joe Charles Johnson. Barkley. You can say Charles Barkley Sixers. You can say that too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that is but, right. <laughs> but what I'm saying, I'm saying that when you think of Suns, who's the first player you think? Phoenix Suns. I mean, for our to the, for our age is Steve Nash. You're right. That's true. I think you're Steve right. Nash. But you're talking yeah. about all time, probably Barkley. Mm, he is a great. It would most likely be Barkley. He took. Rockers. Almost took almost took Jordan to a game seven. Almost. He almost That's did. what I'm saying. And he was look, he was killing them too. He, he was, was by he himself. Was. He was by himself. He wasn't by but, himself. Um, I disagree. Didn't he have he, Kevin he Johnson? Had, well, not, Kevin Johnson, yeah. that Dan Marley, he could I mean, shoot. He was the only one balling, I'll say that. Well, like, Dan Marley truly, had a good series, truly but. balling. Yeah, but, he, it was his MVP year. Yeah, that was his but, MVP. Um, Chris Paul put him on Phoenix. They 
third. Well, they're third, right? They're fourth and third. Yeah, third now. They are third yeah. in the West. The Western winning. Conference. Mm-hmm. Chris Paul the Western winning. Conference. Like, mm-hmm. his impact, what he brings to the game of basketball is, is the same as LeBron. He's just not as tall as him. Or as like good. That's, or as skilled, not as skilled, or as good offensively. Or how do I want to word this? That's that's big. actually that's really it. He's just not as big as LeBron. If he was LeBron's size, Bill, maybe he'd be doing the same thing. I, I don't know. If I don't want to get it. I don't want to get into hypotheticals because that's like saying, "What if Allen Iverson was six six? I don't want to get into hypotheticals. <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, you're not wrong. But if I'm taking somebody, it's definitely Chris Paul. Definitely Chris Paul. Yeah, yeah I'm wrong with this one. I'm not. Yeah, CP3 for all the reasons y'all said. And plus, this is this is that. Well, it has something to do with basketball, but it's like I just love the way he dribbles. He's really a good dribbler, in my opinion. He's up there in top. Five ball handling, in my opinion. He was. He was the best ball handler in the league for a while till it got till yeah. the new generation. He created he created the yo-yo dribble, which I use a lot when I played basketball. But besides that, Chris Paul, like y'all said, a great four general leader. I think he's top five point guard all time, possibly. Even yeah, without so. a ring. I, agree. I think so. Yo, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, turn post notifications on so you know when we post next. All right, peace.